That's great. Um, There's a lot of news coming out of it, though. Six-pack challenge match. Um, Kofi Kingston, Jack Swagger, Carlito, The Miz, Primo, and MVP. You didn't see this. Um, for the U.S. Kofi, title. Yeah. For the U.S. title. Kofi Kingston retains. Good match. Um, you know, uh, with the guys that are in there, I mean, Jack yeah. Swagger has all the potential in the world. Kofi Kingston, awesome. Carlito, up to, The Miz. Up to this point much. in the match, up to, up to this point, I mean, the pay-per-view, rather, there had, there had been two matches, and both matches featured title changes, so this was the first match where the title didn't change hands. Right, right. And then we had uh, Michelle McCool against uh, Molina for the WWE Women's title. Um, let me see. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember what it is. It's a women's title match. How about the Michelle. Divas on Raw last night, too? Oh my God. Divas are just brutal, brutal, brutal to watch. Michelle McCool, winner and uh, still WWE Women's Champion. I don't have much to say about that. I don't even remember, to be honest with you. <laughs> Randy Orton versus Triple H versus John Cena, WrestleMania rematch. These three guys uh, probably... Was it good? Yeah, second best match of the night. Cause you've got to get, you've got to put CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy as uh, as the uh, as the main match. You know, it was the main event, but best match of the night for sure between those two. Uh, second best match of the night here. Um, what was it? At the end, uh, Cena goes for an attitude adjustment on uh, Cody Rhodes, I believe it was. Uh, Orton jumps in and uh, hits Cena with an RKO behind his back and uh, covered him for the pinfall. And we still got. Still WWE champion Randy nice. Orton. So they go into uh, SummerSlam. They're going to do Randy Orton versus John Cena, as we uh, as we saw on Monday Night Raw from uh, yeah. from last night. Maurice versus Mickey James, another Divas match that uh, I don't remember much about for the uh, for the Divas title. New champion here, Mickey James, after a uh, I believe it ended with a DDT, but uh, I'm not sure. Sure. Yeah. Maurice is injured now, right? And then you have knee problems. You might need surgery. And, and that's part of the reason that uh, yeah, they switched the title. That, that they took the title off of her. Um, that's been ongoing for quite some time. A kneecap issue. Um, yeah. She's supposed to get that checked out today. Um, Doctor James Andrews. In yeah, Birmingham. she was in Birmingham yesterday with him, and it was supposed to be checked out earlier this morning. Um, not sure. Don't have any updates on that, but. Uh, that's obviously why they took the title off her and uh, put it on Nikki James. Rey Mysterio versus Dolph Ziggler. Three Sager. title changes so far. Three title changes. Well, yeah, yeah, three, and then uh, one more in the uh, in the main yeah, event as well. So total of Rey four. M- That's not bad. Rey Mysterio and uh, Dolph Ziggler. I expected more. Um, I'm still a big fan of Ziggler. Um, and Does last he have Maria as his, as his valet or whatever now, or is that just a one time thing or what? I think it was just a one time thing because I don't watch SmackDown. But yeah, the announcers, yeah. the announcers specifically noted that um, that she was out there. She was, she was okay. accompanying Ziggler tonight. So I don't know if it was just a one-time deal or, or what the deal was. There's a story going around that a creative team writer um, actually pitched a Maria sex tape angle oh, where geez. Dolph Ziggler was going to blackmail her, but it never came to. Uh, came to fruition. That's huh? rough for PG, man. Yeah, fruition. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, not bad, huh? huh? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to impress Matt B. But, um, yeah, that never that never came to... Uh, but, so they're done to. teasing, taking Mysterio's mask off now? Is that that whole thing completely done with? Well, they, they must be. We'll see what they do with the... Uh, so that, that was between Jericho yeah, and... Yeah, Jer- so Ziggler's not trying to go after his mask? They're, like, done, you know, scrolling no, his well. mask? No, not at the pay per view. They didn't do anything like that. We'll see what they do at the uh, at the taping hmm. tonight. Hopefully, by the way, we're gonna have uh, SmackDown and ECW spoilers. Um, probably the full ECW spoilers before we go off the air. Ryan Gray is doing them over at ProWrestlingScoops.com. So hopefully, we can get uh, the full ECW report and then at least partial SmackDown spoilers before we go off the air, probably the opening segment and maybe a match or two um, beyond that because we go off the air at 9 o'clock and uh, the show is still being taped. They're on the East Coast somewhere. Are they in Baltimore? Yeah, they're in Baltimore. Sounds about, sounds about right, yeah. Um, all right, I so... Think we, got a, we got a couple of results from the uh, ECW tapings if you want them now. From, the, uh, from ECW? Yeah. You have them now? Yeah, well, not the whole show. It's still going on, but we got most of it. Yeah, let's do uh, read off ECW 
real All quick. All right, we got guys. Tyler Rex versus Paul Birchall in the fir- in the opening match. Tyler Rex gets the win after a springboard drop kick. Uh, second match was Vladimir Kozlov. Uh, he beat Bill Benny, a local jobber, and uh, it was a squash ma- a squash match. And uh, after the match, Ezekiel Jackson came out and uh, delivered his one arm slam. So that's what we got so far. There was uh, a couple dark matches too. All right, no doubt. So we'll uh, we'll get the rest of uh, of the ECW spoilers and. Smackdown spoilers, at least partial Smackdown spoilers yeah. before we uh before we go off the air. Um all right, back to Night of Champions. One more match that uh that we have to talk about here. CM Punk against Jeff Hardy. This you was, said this uh, was a good match? Yeah, like I said earlier it was uh match of the was night. It like real good? Uh, it was good. It was good. They did um a lot of false finishes towards mm. the end where uh Jeff Hardy took a GTS and kicked out of that. Uh, Punk kicked out of a swanton. Was the crowd and, into uh, it? And the twist of fate as well. Oh, yeah, crowd was... Uh, and, and this was a dead crowd um, throughout the night. And uh, towards the end of this match, uh started off slow, but towards the end when they did all those false finishes... Now what's um, going on with Jeff Hardy? He won the world title. Um, is he definitely staying or is he definitely leaving? Do we know yet? Well, they wanted him to stay through SummerSlam. And the feeling is, is that he's agreed to do that. And by putting the title on him, it's kind of like saying, hey, man, we're giving you the title. Do you want to walk away? Do you really want to walk away when we've got you right now as world champ? They could always take the title off at SummerSlam. He's, they probably got him. Popular, he's probably as popular now as he's ever been in his career, I would say. I mean, he's over huge, right? Well, that's another thing. I mean, at the uh, at the Night of Champions pay per view, as far as pops were concerned, Triple H and Jeff Hardy was was pretty much. Uh, I mean, right there with one another. You know what I mean? And you would think you would think Triple H. You know what I mean? Going to get that that the, the massive pop or the John Cena, but you never know with Cena because there's always yeah. there's always a mix. mix. Triple H yeah. always gets that monster monster pop. You know what I mean? And Jeff Hardy was uh, was right there with him on Sunday. So, you know, you give him the title. Well, SummerSlam's yeah. the next pay-per-view, right? So, he's, I mean, yeah. they would have to have him for that because otherwise he's got to drop it on a SmackDown taping. Well, yeah, I, I think he's obviously agreed to stay through SummerSlam. Whether that's his last pay-per-view, who knows? But by giving him the title, you know what I mean, over the next four weeks leading into SummerSlam, maybe... What do you think they'll do with him at SummerSlam? Will it be a rematch against CM Punk, or are they going to move somebody else into that spot, or what? Probably all depends on on what he does, unless he's signed a new contract and we haven't heard I mean, about he's, it. He, he's defending against John Morrison tonight on SmackDown on the tapings. We know that, so right. Well, I mean, if they're going to put John Morrison in the mix, then maybe do is do CM like Punk a heel? Maybe maybe he'll run in. Is he a heel yet or not? Yeah, Punk is, especially okay. after that promo on. Uh, well, maybe Sunday he'll Island. do like a run in and keep the program going. You never know. Well, or they could do a fatal four-way or something at the pay-per-view, where, or you could do a gimmick match. Beat the clock know. challenge kind of thing, yeah. Well, Making the number one contender. It doesn't have to be yeah. that, but something like that. Well, if you're going to put John Morrison in there tonight already against Jeff Hardy, it would make sense. I mean, obviously, unless it's just a one-night deal. I think it, I think it would not. have to be just a one-night deal. Well, unless they want to do, like I said, a gimmick match at the pay-per-view and throw a bunch of guys in there and have them all face the champion, which would be Jeff uh-huh. Hardy. You know what I mean? I don't is Shawn Michaels on the Raw brand when he comes back, or is he on the SmackDown brand? He's on, uh, he's on Raw. Yeah, he's on so Raw. They, okay. Well, there's, there's, there's a thinking that, that after Raw last night, yeah. uh, Triple, H, Triple H called out uh, Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase for next week in a, uh, a handicap match, and Sean yeah. is, is expected to return around SummerSlam. Um, well, he's featured on the website and on the posters and all that stuff. So Yeah, it would make sense to do it next week, um, have Sean come down and do the run-in, and then you've got a few weeks build to a DX versus Legacy at uh, at SummerSlam. For a you think they'll do that, or you think they'll just have him as like a mystery well, guest on the pay-per-view? Do we well, know that, or are you just guessing? Well, this is no, no. We don't. We don't know that that Sean is going to return. But I mean, it's it's. Well, it, it was evident from from Raw last night that the you know they were they were leaning, and that also gets guys like DiBiase, Rhodes, Triple H, Shawn Michaels. It gets them all on SummerSlam because you've got a you've got a singles main event on the Raw side yeah. with John Cena versus Randy Orton. You know what I mean? So you've already got those two booked. 
And then you do Triple H, you do DX, you hype up a big DX return at SummerSlam versus the DX Legacy. Legacy. Yeah, people seem to seem to want to see that. So you know, yes, and then, and then to do it at SummerSlam would would make perfect sense. So yeah. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. Well, that was Night of Champions right there. That was Night of Champions right there. And overall, uh, hey, what do we got? What school letter grade are we giving it? Uh, it's not an A or a B. It probably a uh, C plus, I guess. C plus. Yeah, yeah. Nothing's bad. And I know it had four title changes, but it's just 